Here you can see the similarities of my 2400 to the left and there's the 1400. The CD quality is just awesome on it for incredible CD covers. The software is very basic. Here I have a standard black and text that I use saved. And uh, with this I'm going to include another background, but I'll use the grid feature to align the text where I want so it's centered. And then we're going to open up the background with the on the left side menu uh, feature and instead of a color, select an image. Of course we browse and look around for the folder we're after and then I'm going to take one of them here that has the heads offset so that they're not cut out by the uh, hole in the center. Now the text uh, gets hidden here so I'm just going to add a black box under it just to give it some separation. The line is just simply a matter of dragging around and uh, for changing the color just double click on it. Take the border off, add the color to a solid black and then uh, I want to arrange it so that it sits behind the text. So we'll move to the back. After a little bit of alignment, it's just a matter then of going up and uh, clicking on the uh, print button in the top menu. And everything's pretty simple. It automatically selects uh, the, the setting for CD. DVD. There's two different options. One's a little bit better with quality. I just use the standard option. And then click print. With the printer, the area that accepts the uh, platter with the CD or DVD is just above there by lifting up the cover and snapping it out. And uh, the, the platter or guide you see, is just a flat piece. Special DVDs with printable surface are required. They're quite easy to get now. And uh, one is just put on the uh, little uh, spindle in the center to keep it aligned. The arrows uh, are shown so that you don't put it in backwards for feeding it into the printer. And it's just simply a matter of slipping it in. And then there's two arrows on the front, one on the platter and one on the printer that line up. Go back and push print. And this whole process, I'm just leaving it so that you can see the actual time. It's very quick in producing it. And uh, I'll just leave it now to that. In my opinion, the 1400 is just an awesome uh, piece of uh, equipment for a photographer, rather pro or amateur. For the price, it's just unbelievable. You get a printer that uh, prints up to 13 by 19 inches, great for portfolio work or any jobs, uh, 8 by 10, 5 by 7, with excellent quality and inks that uh, claim to last now up to 100 years. So uh, those features are great. What is incredible is that it comes with a full version of Photoshop Elements which has layers, has almost everything that you'd want in uh, the full-blown Photoshop. That comes free. Also, I've, uh, my opinion has become that the price that I paid for it is worth it just for this CD or DVD feature because I send so many of them out and I've struggled having a professional look to my DVDs. And so all the answers came in this little bundle that cost me in Canadian dollars $349 and there was a $50 mail-in rebate for $295. If I had bought it the week before, the company, one of the camera companies, was even offering an additional $20 off. So what an incredible buy and uh, a complete package that gives you everything from awesome editing software to top quality prints. DVD and CD covers. It's just amazing there it's coming out now. It takes no time, just a matter of two or three minutes. A full CD is uh, produced. I actually am not using too many photographs in them. I'm using a straight black cover with a uh, orange text with my copyright notice and my website on it. And it has a very sleek, simple, professional look.
But there we go. Just an excellent quality, the professional looking DVD now that can be sent out. And I'll just pop on the black one here, my standard one that I sent out, just to give you an idea. The color is smooth and uh, it looks just like they were really made DVDs that way. So I'll just close everything up and hope that helped you.